my channel welcome back to a brand new video and today's video is one of the most festive that I have done so far to date this year and probably will be the most festive let's be honest because sneak peek I have built my Christmas tree I actually did it last night and Tom helped me with the finishing touches and I'm so happy that it is finally up the house is all decorated. I do have some last minute bits that I want to get from HomeSense. I haven't properly been to HomeSense and shot their Christmas decorations. So aside from the tree, which is now done, uh, I do want to maybe get some additional last minute touches. So on Sunday, I'm gonna be vlogging my trip to HomeSense and seeing if I pick anything up. And if I do, I'll end up showing you guys in that video what I end up getting. So stay tuned for that on Sunday. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you hit that notification bell, then that'll notify you once that video is uploaded. I absolutely love Christmas. It's my favorite time of the year. I have my little gingerbread latte on the go with my new TK Maxx mug. This is 3 dollars I picked it up recently. I did put on a load of whipped cream, but I've had a little bit and the rest of it's melted. So I might get some more and just top it up. But if you haven't already, make sure you grab yourself a nice cozy drink, light the candles. I've got some festive candles burning and get comfy, relax. And I hope you enjoy it this very festive. Decorate my Christmas tree with me. I feel like the majority of people will decorate their tree first weekend of December or the first of December, which this year it falls on the weekend this weekend coming so let me know if you already have your trees up or what time you put your trees up and without further ado let's get on with the video so the first step and probably the most important is of course to light your festive candles this one is from village candle and it is in winter clementine which is a nice fresh scent for winter and then i'm going to make myself my gingerbread latte using this from nescafe topped up with hot water and of course all the trimmings and then I'll either put on some Christmas music in the background or some kind of a Christmas movie just to kind of keep me company whilst I start decorating and before I put up the tree what I will do is clear the space we actually usually have a table here most of the year so I've moved that to a different area and then just wiping down all the surfaces the skirting boards giving it a spritz of Zaflora as well so it smells nice and clean. This is the tree we ended up going for, seven foot six inch Aga tree, I think that's how you pronounce it, from B&Q. It was actually on offer from 38 pounds down to 30 pounds and they have a smaller six foot version, I believe at 26 pounds the reason why we went for this one in the end we were holding out for a real one but they all seem to be too thick at the bottom which this space which is where we like to have our christmas tree we're kind of limited in that we have plenty of height but we needed quite a thin tree and although skinny trees are available i didn't want it too skinny so Finding that perfect medium was really difficult this year and especially when it comes to getting a real tree, which would be our preference. But nonetheless, this is gonna last us forever, even if it's just a spare tree for like an office in future. And I thought I would just check the lights as well just to ensure that they are working. It's a really easy tree to build. It's all color coordinated on where you place each branch and it just filled the space perfectly. So once that was done, I filled it with these lights, which I got from Home Bargains at $14.99. This seven foot tree required a 400 meter light. And then these centicles, oh my god, they're amazing. They come in so many different scents, but I went for the fur one, along with the branches, which you can see me popping in now, and also a faux fur kind of rug, which we ordinarily have in our spare room. But I used it last year for the tree skirt, and it worked really, really well. It was about £15 from B&M. So I believe it was six sticks per pack, so 12 in total, and it's really made a difference. You can smell it as soon as you walk in the house.
Then I'll just give a quick hoover and blitz of all the glitter that's fallen off from those branches and just make sure everything is clean before adding the tree skirt. Now it's time to put on these bigger festive flowers. I believe they're, are they poinsettias? I'm not sure. I got these from Home Bargains and the range also had some gold ones. They only had one left in the gold. They had loads of the red ones though. The range of my baubles I went for this year are from the range and uh, a few from Home Bargains and a few from last year, a few from Home Sense, but the majority are from the range. And the theme that I wanted to go with this year was quite minimalist, quite white company, Neptune home. I wanted the green of the tree to come through along with the fur scent from the Centicles and then everything else to be just white glass with a touch of champagne kind of glittery glitz and glamour to it but nothing too uh, full on, I just wanted it to be mostly neutral. Tom was also very impressed with the finished result. I also dressed our window with a couple of the votive glass votives from Home Bargains that I featured in my White Company dupes video. And this is pretty much the finished result of the tree. Like I said, a bit of glitz, a bit of white and a bit of glass and nothing much else. And I love it. I'm so, so happy with the finished result. Let me know what you think. you have it that is my decorate my christmas tree with me 2019 i hope you like the theme that i've gone for white company minimal lots of glass lots of white and i just think it's so festive it makes me so happy it smells incredible those centicle sticks really work the tree's actually been up since yesterday for me filming this little outro here and when tom opened the bedroom door which is like upstairs in another side of the house. When he opened the door this morning, I could smell the fur. So that's how amazing they are. Let me know what you think of my tree for 2019 and any other festive content that you would like to see from me. Just pop it in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.